A little longer. We pull it in. As you will see in a minute. We've got train joining again, after some alterations, there's some more to do. Uh, this is the strength now of the uh, branch line. I've taken the chip out of that to stick the flanking plate back in, so that's going to stay up here now. It's, it's CC at the moment. Um, as you can see, we put another bridge in with um, just in case sides. That's straight forward there now. So, I don't know where the station is going to go. I haven't got a clue yet. Um, we've only got the three lines now on the DC. See? see? Um, at the moment. And I'm going to have to put a cross and crossovers in to connect the the inside line to the other two um, at some point. There's points got to go in here, so that point got to go in there, so I've got two relief lines on the third line. This one's going to go in here, there will be two dead zones uh, for parking um, GMUs, basically. And they'll come up here, there'll be a platform there for the GMUs. Platform 5, there's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, so Platform 5 will be going there, we'll still have the overbridge and all that. Then we put this um, ramp in here, it's been tested, fine, so it'll go up very slow, that, um, that 150, it'll go up. And I've altered over there, it's decided in the end, to take this track right the way back and come across in such a position where I can get at that point and the motors and I can get at that one there and the motor. So it's not too bad. And there's a point now going up there. Easy to put a motor on there. No problem. So yeah, this is what we've done. The other thing I noticed, when I had the four lines on DCC, I didn't have, I don't think I had enough amps. Because this 37 was running really, really slow, and so was the 150. It's, it's a bit quicker now, I think they messed up with the TVs on it. I'll just have a look at that, I'm not really good at all that. Um, but it's going a lot better than it was, it was really crawling round if I had a, another train running with the sound on and all that. So obviously not enough amps. I didn't think of that, because with the end gauge I used to run five and then I, I had a, a three or four sound and then I had no trouble. But of course, the big heavy, big heavy, uh, big heavy, bigger motors and all that nonsense. Um, yeah. They have struggled a bit, so this is why I might, well, I mean, it's either get a 5 amp um, back, which I, I think they're quite expensive, or just leave, um, this, just leave it on DC. I might just leave it on DC. There's only a couple of DMUs running around there. I might shove the 58 with a couple of little freight wagons just to run around as well. So you put the chip in that. We'll see. The arches are there now. Look at that. Um I got these these will go back in with all these walls. They'll go back in along there. There's nothing wasted. Um, I've got enough room here to create a TMD or a whatever with a shed, with a shed right here and some sidings and all the rest of it and then down the other end of this branch line 
we'll have a point, that point goes in there, we'll put a point in here, and have two little lines going into a shed there, for the, uh, for this line, or maybe three, three lines, see if I get another one in the future. Um, I might put a platform here, I don't know, I might put a platform there with the 60s up there, that's what I'll probably do. And I'll probably then put a little branch line station over there, a curved one, in a corner or something. You know, do something like that. So we can stop, I'm not going to use the shuttle now, so I can just leave a train by the station for five minutes. So, yeah. It's all looking okay. It's a bit East Robinson, this bridge. Uh, I've put a dowel in there. That's all I had. You can see it poking up into a hole to try and get it in the correct position. Um, yeah, since first run lines, there's a little bit of a something there. I'm going to have to have a look at the card maybe under the track or something. And I look, this, this one here is a little bit lumpy. So something's not quite lining up properly. But you know, that's why I put the snips there in case it happens. I've got my chain falling on the deck. I put these, uh, I made that like a box skirt, I'm going to make that like a box skirt, a bridge or something. Um, I don't know, we'll have to see what we're going to do there. I was thinking of maybe putting a slanty bit of something here. I don't know, with some. Something when it falls up, it goes up with it. I don't know, I'll have to, I'll have to do something there. It'd be nice, some uh, vegetation on there. Let's say when, it, when this one went up. I don't know, we'll have to, I'll have to have a look at that. I just thought of that when I was looking at that. I'll have to sort that up with there. But I'm happy if it's running again. That's amazing. Metap buildings are coming on. I'll finish this track work tomorrow. Put the zones in and all that. Get it up, buttoned up by tomorrow, if you imagine. I'll catch you again. Bye for now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>